Alright, today I'm just going to be doing a little video and a little talking about uh, the mice that I use for playing PC gaming and um, the evolution my mice have taken uh, over the years that led me up to my decision. Well, first off, I am always gaming on a laptop because I only do have a laptop. I would like to have a desktop in the future. But stating that, this was the first mouse I have ever used. I used it to play pretty much any game and I got pretty good at using like my thumb. I don't even know how I did it. I probably couldn't do it anymore. Uh, but what made me first decide to buy an external mouse is if you notice the clicker is one button. So you cannot right click and left click at the same time. And in a first person shooter I like aim down sight to be you have to hold it and then shoot. So that was impossible. So this mouse was out of the way and I went to the store and I decided to get some cheap mice. Um, I've probably had like three different kinds of these. This is just like a, an example. Um, this is just like a Dynex uh, laser mouse. Uh, and my cat at the time when I was at my dad's, he would always chew up the cords. So I probably went through at least three of these cheap mice, which um were like levels and levels above just the touchpad and I was amazed at how I even played games with the touchpad before and now I can't really use the touchpad for games so this was quite nice it was just like a massive step up from the touchpad but my cat kept chewing the cords and I kept having to buy new mice every couple weeks and I was like no so then the next step I did was logical I thought was a little wireless mouse and uh, this is just a little Logitech uh, wireless mouse that comes with a little like dongle that you put in I think that's what it's called you just pop this in your USB and um, hit the on button and it it just instantly works it's really not that bad of a mouse and I use this for quite a while and uh, keep in mind uh, when I was using this mouse uh, this was before I even used mouse pads, so I just did it on whatever surface I was on, like the couch or a table. And sometimes it would just like skip when uh, it would skip over like a surface and it wouldn't register well. Same with this, I wasn't really using any th sort of mouse pad yet. But um, after a while, I decided to look around my room and I did end up finding a mouse pad I had from when I was a kid. Boom! A spun drive. You can tell he is quite discolored from years and years of use and I used to use this uh, as my first mouse pad and um, yeah it's whatever and it made it uh, register the game so much nicer just the mouse it wasn't just jumping and skipping and then I used this wireless one for quite a while but then something happened and uh, it broke this one is just a replacement I bought just because in case I wanted to have a wireless one but then since that broke I decided I needed I wanted a different mouse and uh, I wanted to step up, so the next thing I bought was uh, a rat mouse, a rat 3. Um, I have no idea about mouses when I bought this, and uh, I just bought it because it looked crazy and it looked like it was probably really good. It says 3500 DPI, and I believe it's just a laser mouse, I don't think it's optic, but I'm, I'm not quite sure. And um, I also bought this for the single reason that if you can see the cord, it is a braided cord. So I thought, my cat will not get through this. And um, he didn't. Um, he did try and sometimes uh, he would chew it up, but um, he never ended up breaking it because of that. It ended up breaking because, I don't know, because I used to bring my laptops to my friend's house a lot. So I'd always just coil this up and throw it in a bag so it wasn't like always just sitting out the cable. And I guess it just got like kinked up and the connections uh, probably crossed. And I, I was thinking about going back to fix it. I mean, this is broken as is and just splicing the wires back. But then at the same time, I thought that was quite of a lot of work. So I didn't do that. And, and this mouse is kind of cool. It it looks kind of crazy. That's one of the <laughs> buy points I got. It's, um, it's kind of comfy. Um, I would like it maybe to be a little bigger because if, if I put it comfortable and I put my palm in the spot, my fingers are kind of like dragging because I kind of have bigger hands, but it has two buttons. Uh, I think this one adjusted the DPI and this, not sure, this was some programmable button. This is just a scroll wheel and you could also program these. And yeah, I just thought it was a crazy looking mouse. And by when I got this mouse, I started to realize that 
sometimes when I'd be playing on a couch, the surface was was not flat and that was not good. So I needed to do another upgrade to my mouse pad situation. Thus came the Waldo book. And then I began to play with the SpongeBob mat on top of the Waldo book. And I've been, <laughs> I brought this Waldo book over to my friend's house for many years <laughs> when I was PC gaming with them on my laptop. It is quite old and actually one time I did step on this the wrong way and um, it slid and uh, the book actually separated and ripped. Thus the loving duct tape I had to uh, repair it with. And you can tell that this is really pattered up. Just like so much use and it like ripped. But uh, this also has a dual purpose because um, if I'm not PC gaming at my friend's house and I'm kind of bored I could just Flip it open and try to find Waldo. Because these really are just a lot of fun, these books. So yeah, try to find Waldo. And I always never remember where he is. Love the art, a lot of fun. So then I started using this as just a support for the mouse on a couch or when I was on like an unflat surface, wherever I was, if I was gaming or anything. But then after a while, my rat mouse decided that it didn't want to work because of the cord. And I said, ah. Oh, the cords are annoying. I guess I'm going to have to go back to wireless, but I really didn't want to because um, I was under the impression, and I, I still think so, that um, wireless mice, there's a little bit of lag in time because even though the speed of light is faster than um, the transmission of the electrons through the wire, it takes a fraction of a second longer to decode the photons or the light. Uh, than the actual physical input, I believe. So there is just the slightest bit of lag, but I honestly doubt if anyone would notice it unless you're like some professional gamer or something. But still. And the next mouse I got was... I actually don't have it anymore because uh, I returned it, but I'll explain why. Was this mouse, uh, the Razer Epic Chroma Naga. It was a crazy mouse, and um, the buy point on this for me was... Uh, it was it was the most expensive mouse I've ever bought, but the thing was, uh, and that's what it looks like. There's just quite a bit of buttons, programmable twelve buttons, and two on the side, and um, yeah, and it had different. Um, I'll, I'll kind of explain in this. It like the sides could pop off, and you could snap on different sides to with different shapes to kind of adjust to your hand personally. And I bought that mouse because it had a nice feature of. Uh, it could either be used wireless or wired and I wanted that because uh, of my cat being notorious for eating my cords and I wanted it just so in case it did eat the cords I could use it uh, as a wireless uh, mouse. I never really did use it as a wireless mouse even though it was really good and it claimed to be like barely any lag or anything but I always just used it as wired and it did come with a nice little charging stand because once it was wired uh, you slipped in like a battery in the back something would come off and it would like stand down there. Um, it did have a whole mess of buttons here and it did have lots of crazy lights and um, the thing is I never really ended up using the buttons. There was just too many. My thumb is it is kind of big and I would just like mash them all. And um, yeah, but when I bought that mouse, uh, I bought it at Best Buy. I also bought the insurance. And when I was talking, I wouldn't have bought the insurance otherwise. When I was talking to the, the checkout lady, she said I was like... Uh, um, how it works and she said uh, it's a two-year plan uh, you can uh, come back at any time if you're dissatisfied with it and uh, we'll replace it and so I said so at the end of two years could I come back and just swap it out for a new mouse and she said yeah so that is exactly what I did that's why I no longer have uh, the physical mouse so I took it back to Best Buy and by then um, the cord was kind of tattered and the cat had chewed it up quite a bit but I took it back to Best Buy and I said uh, I would like to just swap this for the mouse and they said okay and what they did was a little bit different than I thought they put the price of the mouse on a gift card uh, that I spent and gave me a gift card and they said you can either just go to the shelf and grab another one of the same mouse and it would just become even uh, and I would just use the whole card or I could really get anything so then I decided maybe I want something else because I never really used all the buttons and uh, I never really used it wirelessly because my cat couldn't really get through the the nice breeded cords so that leads me to my final mouse that I got uh, and I usually keep the boxes for all the nicer electronics that I like uh, the Death Otter Chroma 
very nice mouse. Uh, I believe it was quite expensive. I believe um, the Naga or whatever. This one was probably like 150 with the insurance, which was like, that's insane. Like, I, I couldn't believe I got myself to do that. I must have just gotten one of my paychecks or something. But um, then I went down for a more simplistic design. It took me quite a while. I was standing uh, at the, like, the mice uh, area for a while, um, looking just for different types of mice. And then I ended up asking uh, somebody. And I wanted to try an optical laser. I mean, an optical eye instead of a laser because I heard that they're more accurate and um, that's what this is but when I asked the person who worked there uh, he was completely wrong and said it was a laser and then I ended up uh, someone walked up to the mouse uh, department I guess or where they were all shelved and I he looked like he knew a thing or two about mice so I asked him and he said yeah um, I would definitely get uh, this one it's just the best like all around mouse and it is an optical sensor um, there is only um, two buttons here and um, I'm sure you can program them I don't even know if I in installed the software for it and it's, and if you don't like I believe it's just like forward and backwards for like an Internet Explorer or something uh, it does have uh, very nice clicks um, they're all separate they're all solid to this plastic so it's just bending a little bit it has a very nice scroll bar and it has 10,000 DPI and it's 4G optical sensor which uh, I'm not sure what that means, probably the fourth generation. So it uses like a camera to sense uh, where it is instead of lasers and reflections and stuff. And uh, this does glow when it's plugged in and it changes color. And I'm sure the program, if I installed it, I could probably choose what color. I'm not quite sure. But this is was a really good mouse. Uh, the thing is, when I, when I bought this, they didn't ask me if I wanted insurance on it. Otherwise, I would have done that because after two years, I would have just went in and swapped it out again because this is about reaching uh, the two-year mark or maybe even over. But uh, they didn't offer it, so I never got it. And um, it's, it's held up very nicely. There's a little bit of grime and dirt here. And uh, the, the slip pads are very slick. This has definitely been my favorite mouse. It fits in my hand very nicely. I have quite big hands, and it just... I put the palm of my hand in there, it's very nice. The tip of my fingers don't like drag at the front or anything, like like the rat or something. Honestly, my fingers, if I put it on there comfortably, they would just sit at the front and speak about small. This is I played with this for a while. This is just like, come on. But uh, this one fits me quite nicely and it's nice. I never really use these. Um, I'm sure I could or yeah, if I want to. It's just a very nice mouse and very nice sensor. But after a while, my SpongeBob pad started getting very dusty and um, I decided I needed to upgrade. So the last most recent thing I bought for my mouse is a Steel Series mouse pad. And uh, I didn't even know this thing picks up like uh, fingernail scratches like crazy though. Uh, but it is just very nice. It doesn't even skip over the finger scratches. Um, and the bonus is, it pretty much is the same size as my Waldo book. So that made me very happy. So overall, um, this is the mouse I ended up with, the Death Otter Chroma. It's a very good mouse, I think. And yeah, it's just a great mouse overall. Well, that was the evolution of my mice for PC gaming and the one I use for now. I hope you guys enjoyed and maybe this video helped you. Alright guys, take it easy.